Denzel Washington, Mel Gibson, and Martin Sheen are just a few A-listers who are known to be devout Christians. But many in the entertainment business find themselves drawn in by more secretive and less mainstream religions. Los Angeles is the best place to start a new religion. The way things happen here is they happen in private ceremonies, parties. So you meet people who want to take you into this place where there's some juice, there's some power, there's some wisdom. With megastars like Madonna, Gwyneth Paltrow, Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, Ashton Kutcher, and Demi Moore all having joined its ranks at one time or another, a previously secret Jewish mysticism has gained a powerful following in Hollywood, Kabbalah. It's a little known esoteric ancient organization that teaches how to get in tune with the divine, how to really get in touch with God so that you can achieve your own levels of success that these celebrities so desire. How to, in a sense, become a God yourself. Though Kabbalah is based on Jewish principles, some of the practices of its members, like holding cleansing dinners, wearing red string bracelets to ward off evil, and reading books written only in Aramaic have raised eyebrows. Another religion that's gained an even bigger following in Hollywood and is even more secretive is the Church of Scientology. How has Scientology gained such a substantial A-list following? And why is the media so afraid to talk about this secret society? Everybody was afraid it's this secret celebrity club, but they have some really famous and powerful members, so we're not gonna touch them because we don't wanna jeopardize our relationship with those famous members. What are they doing in there? Why are these minions marching around Hollywood in sailor outfits? Is it a cult? Scientology is one of the most fascinating things in Hollywood because there are so many celebrities involved and executives and writers and directors and producers that we don't know about and you don't hear about and the little bits and pieces that ever come out seem to kind of go away and get squashed so quickly. That, I think, to me is what's most fascinating. There's an idea in Hollywood that you become a member because they hide things for you or help keep it out of the media. The Church of Scientology is recognized in the United States and other countries as a legitimate religious organization. But Hollywood has also proven to be a breeding ground for many underground fringe religions, like the Children of God. Children of God started in 1968 in Huntington Beach, California. Reverend Dave Berg starts preaching at this coffee shop, and it's kind of this like groovy hippie preacher. One day, Berg devised this plan called flirty fishing. Flirty Fishing said that not only was it okay to use sex and sexuality to bring people into the organization, but it actually was a, it was a good thing, it was a good deed, because you're converting someone to Christ. So imagine you're a Hollywood screenwriter, you're at a party in these hills, and all of a sudden you're being talked up by three beautiful young women. You find yourself in bed with them, and they ask you at that very particular moment if you take Jesus into your heart, and many did. Even today, we know a lot of young people who are on the rise as movie stars and recording artists and TV stars who grew up in that group. The Children of God is still around today under a new name, the Family International, and it's only one of many fringe religious organizations in Hollywood. There are a lot of secret societies in Hollywood. You know, what you see from the outside is only the tip of the iceberg, but you know, it goes deep. You see satanic rituals happening. You hear about them from friends. There are culty organizations springing up left and right. This is not an easy place. You can be very isolated. People join up with organizations that may not be beneficial for them. With Hollywood's social and political influence, how concerned should we be about which top stars might secretly be involved with fringe religions? Hollywood is this kind of testing ground, this way of like warning us about where we're headed in the future. I don't necessarily agree with this idea that we're at the behest of some kind of secret cabal. Now that said, I wouldn't be surprised if we are. <laughs>